is a, uh, it's easier for me to move than the camera. This is one of a series of instruments I'm collaborating, uh, collaboratively uh, putting together for a fellow who buys some of my stuff, <coughs> quite a bit of my stuff. Um, we'll get these large body solid spruce top mostly K jumbo guitars and do things with them because the necks are too narrow to play as five as six string guitars frankly for many people me and this other fella anyway so we've made a octave mandolin <coughs> a mando cello that's really nice he asked me to make him a oh we did a five string uh, Bajo Cinco and played it through an octave pedal to get the other five octave strings. So it's an easy to play Bajo Sexto or Bajo Cinco. I call it a, yeah, Bajo Cinco, <laughs> a low five. Um, then uh, I made him a five string guitar banjo, a gitjo that probably played in the key of E and used the uh, the full length instead of pegging the string. You can make them either way depending on the key. If you make them play in the key of E, you can get this string here, the high E now, to be up here. <coughs> this one he asked me to make a five string guitar banjo an octave lower. So what your normal G string on a banjo would be here, would be like a 16. Um, it's up here, but it's 22 because it's a G on the guitar. Uh, the scale's a little shorter. It's a long scale. It's 25 and 3 quarters. 25 and 7 eighths when you measure it because of intonation. Anyway, the thing is, uh, is the most cello-like guitar instrument, plucked instrument, that I've been familiar with. Uh, believe it or not, I'm thinking of it in terms of cello more than uh, banjo. So uh, I play the five string a little bit in my own style. So makes it look like like I know what I'm doing. There's only one of these in the world, that's for sure. Thank you. 
banjo would be open G. And I tried this in open G. And uh, it was just so low. Um, I felt it was too low. Um, also, the strings I had picked uh, really woke up when I wound it up to A. This would play down in G if you make these strings one level heavier. This is a 52, right? So this is tuned A, E, A, C sharp, E. And a banjo would be G, D, G, B, D. Um, we're just up two frets. Um, anyway, this is a 22, 52, 42, probably a 38, maybe. And I think this is probably a 32, a D, roughly. It's okay. As I said, it is played like a five string ban banjo. <laughs> Five-string banjo player in the world of bluegrass. It's not my boy. I played with one of the best five-string banjo players in the world, named Mick King. He's not here anymore. Can't touch me. Listen to that thing, man. Thank you. 
got power. It takes, a, it takes some power to play it. Um, about definitely more than if you're picking a five string unless you're really trying to get heard in a bar or something. But, um, uh, it's another reason I'm not putting on the 54s and going to G. Uh, this is uh, from the Earl Scruggs book. This came from uh, Last Date, Floyd Kramer. And it was Earl's read her, his translation into the five string banjo that this is the uh, Floyd Kramer riff. I'm using this. This is the Floyd Kramer riff, just this one little hand. The rest is mine. It's actually a washing machine county thing. I've been playing it for a long time on the world's only uh, baritone uh, five string uh, Get Joe player out there, but uh, I've been playing it for about 20 minutes now. Soundtracks for a film. Or soundtracks for a video. 